down for the long run now. Red Corvette and my drop top down. Calling up my digits in my motor roll line up. Speeding like I brought someone. Hello guys, this is Secret Axolotl back with another video today. Today I'm going to be talking about the worst thing that can ever happen before a movie starts. Spoilers. People who watch the movie soon because they're brats and their parents pay for everything for them. Or you're just getting tickets, but majority of them are brats. And so they come to school. Some of them don't even like the movies. They just come to talk about, talk about the movies and they wanted to be annoying. So they come per to school just to annoy people. So we have this kid named Landon. I can't give his last name or else I'm going to get sued. And it's kind of annoying because he comes to school. He watched it on the first day as soon as it came out on Thursday. I'm talking about Endgame or any movie. I hate when people spoil movies. He comes in. He tells me, oh, yeah, these so-and-so and so-and-so. And I'm not going to say actually anything because I know a couple people out here have not watched the movie yet. And I'm not going to spoil it for you. So he comes to school. He says, oh, yeah, so-and-so, so, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Tells us almost everything about the movie. And we can't really do anything. Next thing we know it, I come to the next class. And a kid named Jacob completely ruins the movie more. Oh yeah, keep going. Maybe maybe there's be people who don't do it. Then all of a sudden, everybody just keeps spoiling the movie. Some people, I guarantee, haven't even watched the movie. Or they're just doing it to be annoying, and they hear from other people. I get so annoying. Like um, when Star Wars: The Force Awakens came out, the first of the new movies, I could not wait. I didn't want to watch a single video. Didn't want to wait because I didn't get to see it until. A week after it came out in the movie theaters, the day after it came out to movies, I get somebody coming to our school and ruining the entire movie. Like, it's so annoying. If you have any, like, if you're watching this video and you feel the same as I do, write down in the comments, hashtag hate for spoilers. Like, I, I hate spoilers so much. And I'm almost do done with um, seventh grade. I'm going to be in eighth grade next year. And I just could not stand it. It's terrible. And it's annoying. Like, people do this because they know they're annoying and they know what they're doing. And they're just doing it to uh, get a little bit out of you, make you respond, make you react. And it's just so annoying. Because you have to deal with these people whenever you want to watch a movie. But it's you don't even want to watch the movie anymore because you already know that everything happens in it. Like, I'm going to watch Endgame tomorrow. and for, It's tomorrow's Friday. And I really don't know if I want to watch it because people ruined it. I already know everything that happens. It's just pointless. And it's so annoying. Like, I'm sorry that I keep saying it's so annoying, but it is. <sighs> also, if anybody has any suggestions for any games that you would like to see me play, like maybe 2K19, WWE, uh, football, FIFA, Minecraft. If you want to see me play Minecraft, you can. Um, Scribble.io. I can play on a computer. I can play a Super Smash Flash and record it. Uh, actually, I might do that for my next video. I might play Super Smash Flash while y'all watch it. It'll be like a 10-minute video about. And back to the video we're on. Ah. So, sometimes people don't spoil the movies and they show enough respect. And because they haven't, they watched it, but they they don't ruin the movie for you. They just say, oh yeah, the movie was fun, you should totally watch it. People like that are fine. So if you're a spoiler for a movie, don't spoil a movie for somebody. Like, it's basically ruining, because you might ruin their day just over, because they really want to see the movie, and you just completely ruin the movie for them. You may be ruining their day. And it sucks. It sucks to be the person who wants to see the movie, 
but can't and you don't want to anymore because somebody spoils it. It's like so, it's, not, it's just unnecessary to ruin a movie for somebody else because they're lucky they got to see the movie in the first place. People ruin it just to be annoying and being a pest. No, it's gotten to the point at our school that everybody just keeps doing it. Like, seventh grade is the worst group of kids you're probably ever going to have. Maybe sixth grade is worse than seventh grade at our school, which I cannot specify because of stalkers. But, um... In general, I just really can't stand people like that spoiling the movies just to annoy and be a pest to other people's day when it's totally unnecessary, when you don't have to say anything. They're just doing it to be annoying. So if you ever see a spoiler, just walk away or report them because you, they can get in trouble for that when if they keep talking to you when you don't want them to be talking to you and they're annoying you, you can put it as harassment. They, they can get detention or sent away from you for that. Because harassment is something that's taken seriously in my school. Sexual harassment, verbal harassment, harassment in general. So if somebody won't leave you alone and won't stop talking to you when you don't want them to talk to you, just tell a teacher. Or if you're just randomly on Facebook and you're scrolling, talking to your wife, husband, sibling, brother, cousin, and you, or friend, you're scrolling, and you get a picture and a full freaking article of people ruining the movie. So, me, I don't have any social media. Couple reasons why. Number one, I don't like social media because they can track anything you do. Number two, there are certain people on there that will stalk you. And number three, they can get caught. you can get framed, you can get anything like that. People have a chance of knowing your personal business when they shouldn't. Because it's honestly none of their business. And um, certain things happen in our family. Uh, what else? Go on social media. I don't really like going to talking to people. Cut talking to people I know spoil movies because that's just pointless. And I already know they're gonna spoil the movie for me, so I don't talk to them. And that's pretty solid way to get rid of somebody. Now, if you're a baller and you really don't care if somebody spoils the movie feel free to punch them in the face because it's quite annoying like only if you're a baller don't if you if you really don't care for rules there's, there's a couple sixth graders at our school that don't care for rules just straight up slap them or just punch them i don't know just get them to stop prove your point maybe if you like prove to them that you're not something to be messed with they're gonna leave you alone fair yeah fair i, I agree that's fair and if you have anything you want to know about me, just, well, don't go too serious, like, maybe, like, oh, do you have a girlfriend? Do you have anything like that? Yeah, go, go, just ask me those questions in the comment. I love talking to you. <coughs> I love talking to people on my brother's channel, I, which I will show in the ending. I just really enjoy I enjoy the experience. Make sure that you um, subscribe to my channel, like the video, hit the bell so you never m miss one of my videos. I know that I don't post videos that often because I'm in school and I'm dealing with school problems. And if you haven't seen that, I will make a video about what I'm talking and what I mean by school problems. But anyways... You should subscribe to my brother's channel. He is Alex underscore the God underscore 67. Only if you can handle cussing. Because my brother cusses a little bit in his videos. So, it's... Just look up Alex underscore the God underscore 67 on YouTube. His name should show up.
forget to subscribe, like the vids, stay tuned, hit the bell for more information. That's me. Goodbye and good night.